Welcome guys. Today's topic is circular flow model, which is uh, the first chapter of economics, which is written circular flow model, model, national account aggregate, and the multiplier. The topic is circular flow model. So, the circular flow model and national ag- account aggregate and the multiplier are three key concepts, like three key terms in economics. According to Circular Flow, the three key sectors of economy, economy is consumer, business, government, and all work together to ensure that society's needs are provided for through the creation of goods and services. So that's a Circular Flow model. So here, I'm not going to stick that much. Um, the formula can also be written as K1 divided by 1 minus MPC. You probably have those in your test book. So without wasting any time, I'll go on to to read the key concepts for you guys, um, which is not really that important. Yeah, I'll read the important, important key concepts. I was going to start with terms and definition here. Base year, a year with very small ch- price changes. Or price fluctuation, the current base year used by the Reserve Bank in 2005. Basic price used when GDP is calculated according to the production method and represented to the production cost of the firms. Capital market, market for a long term financial instrument, for example, bonds, shares. Circular flow models, continuous flow of spending, production, and income between different sectors. Closed economy, an economy that has no foreign sector. As the partic- um as the part- participator uh oh I, I said this out loud because uh, many learners forget it close economy has no foreign sector guys consumption consumption spending by the population domestic figures value of all final goods and services produced within the borders of the country for a specific period economic equilibrium the economy is in equilibrium if linked linkages are equal to injection expenditure when national accountants add together the spending of four major sectors of the economy exports this is an expenditure method guys it's c plus g plus i uh, plus then you put bracket x minus m this is an expenditure method Goods and services, uh, it is an export. Goods and services produced locally, they then sold for consumption outside the borders of the country. Factor market, markets are where factors of production are traded. Factor cost, these terms can be used to interchangeably and refers to the cost of price, cost of or price paid for their factors of production, which is labor, land, capital, and entrepreneurship used by firms. Financial market, the market where both short and long term financial assets f- are traded. Fi- financial sector, this sec- this fi- those financial institutions that are not directly involved in the production of goods and services, e.g., banks and insurance companies. Foreign exchange market, the market in which one currency can be traded for another, rents for dollar. Goods market, market where goods. And services are traded. Uh, cars, milk, and, and all that. Those are in examples. Government. The expenditure of the government sector. Which we refer it as G. Government is G. It's an expenditure of the government. Uh, you, you normally use it when you're calculating. Um, when you're making expenditure method, you know that, okay, we take the government... Um, and imports things like that but government will refer it as g import m goods and services produced in other countries and purchased by local firms and households imports can also be you represented by z they can also be represented by z but you can guys you can stick by to m because that one is is much more easier income method Gross domestic income is derived de- derived by adding all income earned by the owners of the factors of production, GDP. 
Injection, the introduction of additional money into the economy by investment, which is I, government, which is G, and payment for export, which is X. Investment, I, spending by themes in, of, on capital goods, goods, by the way. Linkage is money withdrawal, withdrawn for the secular fl- from the secular flow through savings, taxes, and imports exp- and ex- import expenditure, which is savings is actually S, then taxes is T. Marginal prosperity T to consumer, which is MPC. The marginal prosperity to consumer MPC indicates that. As disposable income increases, an increase in personal consumer spending, consumption occurs, for example. A marginal propensity to consume of 0.65 indicates that for every extra rent end, the household will spend 65 cents and save 35 cents. Market price, which is MP. Prices actually paid by the consumers for goods and services plus all the taxes and subsidies calculated according to the expenditure method. Money flow, the flow of in- income and expenditure between participants in the circular flow. Money market, uh, the term, the short term and the very short, short term market for savings and loans. Multiplier, a small initial increase in spending produces a proportionately larger Increase in aggregate and national income. National figures, which is uh, GNP. Value of all final goods and services produced by payment by the permanent citizens of the country for specific periods. Net figures. Net indicate that some amount has been taken away. E.g. net exports reflects the value of export, less imports. Open economy. An economy that trades with the foreign sector. Production. Method. Remember, guys, a closed economy um, has no foreign, foreign, foreign set, but an open obviously has foreign set. Production method: the adding of the final value of all goods and services calculated as gross value added, G, uh, added, which is GDP. Um, P. Real flow: the flow of goods and services between participants in the circular flow. Savings income that is not consumed. Subsidies on production refers to subsidies that are not linked to specific goods or services, e.g. subsidy made on employment. Subsidies on products, financial incentives into help struggling industries produce as well as direct subsidies payable per unit exported to encourage exports. Taxes, compulsory payments made by private individuals or business enterprises to the government sector with no direct benefit. Taxes on production refers to taxes on production not linked to a specific good or service or tax, uh, which is an example, tax on land and buildings. Yeah, it's taxes on production. Taxes on products, which we all know, obviously, is taxes that are payable per unit of some good or service. Uh, for example, VAT, which we pay almost every time when we buy goods in purchases. So, guys, those are the terms and definition. Um, if you need to know them again, if you didn't hear them, go back to the video and watch them and watch uh, what are the terms and definition. Because um, I don't, I won't explain the same thing over and over. I've already given you the definition of all the things that are important. So, I want to explain it, explain it again. Um, the open economy, secular flow. Uh, the, the secular flow model of the economy is a simplification showing how the economy works and the relationship between income, production and spending in the economy as a whole. Relationship between income production and spending in the economy as a whole. The circular flow model of an eco- open economy shows the workings of an economy that is um, that is open to foreign trade. And I've already explained this multiple times. It is different to a closed economy. So um this is how you actually um this is how actually the the open economy looks like as you can see guys. Uh, in the middle, um, it's the states. The foreign sector is actually a little bit outside. I can just say that it's outside. 
and this one is not really a clear one but i will find a clear one later um you can see business sector factor market it's it's very it's a straightforward one goods market private household and it's and it's also written here that what how does it function and the expenditure where where the state spends money financial market things like that so yeah I will explain even further right now. So now, uh, participants household sector. I'm gonna start with household sector. Households are the major consumers of the economic goods and services. They use their income to buy from films. They use their income to buy from films. I'm gonna explain it again. They use their income to buy from films because you guys don't listen sometimes. Households are the primary economic participants. Because they are the owners of four vectors of production. They are the owners of what? Four vectors of production. Household sell vectors of production. Okay, let, 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 let me stop there. They use their income to buy from films. And they sell vectors of production in the vector market to films. They sell vectors of production They use to and they use income to buy from their films. They sell vectors of production. In the factor market uh, to the films and they use their income to buy from the films you got that guys households are the major consumers of economic goods and services they use their income to buy from films and sell they sell factors of production in the factor market to films households receive a remuneration from the films in the form of wages rent interest and profit in, in the form of wages, rent, interest, and profit. That's how the income is made by households. Films or business sectors, which is basically the same thing if you don't know, guys. Films or business sectors. Um, but I'm going to call it films because it's a, it's a little bit short. Films purchase the factors of production from the household in the factor market. Remember, the households sell what? Factors of production in the factor market. Then films do what? Purchase the factors of production from the household in the factor market. Films use the factors of production to produce goods and services. Businesses sell goods and services to households, government, and foreign sector. Businesses receive an income from the other three participants, households, government, and foreign sector. It's a straightforward one. The state or the public sector... This refers to local and regional or and national government. This is actually the government. The state provides the households and businesses with public goods and services. The state receives taxes from households, income tax, which is actually the government actually taxes each and everything. So it's income tax and the state receives taxes from businesses. The government also taxes businesses if you didn't know which you call it, company tax. Foreign sector. There is a flow of goods or imports that flow from the foreign sector and are, pay, are, are paid for by the individual household businesses and the public sector. These imports can be seen as an expenditure by individual households, businesses and public sector. There is also a flow of goods and services in the foreign sector from the businesses, which are exports. The exports will result in an income for individual household businesses and public sector, which is a monetary inflow so that's foreign sector so interaction between participants which um, most of you guys uh, get confused by and i've already explained how they interact most of the time but i'm gonna explain again how they interact household provide production um production factors to produce films and uh, households receive an income in return, rent, wages, interest, and profits. That's how they receive income. Households purchase goods and services from the firm. Firms receives income from sales revenue. Households firms purchase goods and services from the foreign sector as imports. The foreign businesses receive money from the firms, from firms and households. Firms sell goods and services to sectors, to foreign sectors, and this is called export. Households and firms pay taxes to the government. The government provides 
public goods and services to households and firms. So uh, that's it. And the money invested by firms and households is known as savings. And the funds received by the financial sector are used firms and businesses to purchase infrastructure for the production of goods and services. So that's it, guys. So um, I've already explained here. So one of the things I need to ex explain before I end I end the video is this one because this is really important, guys. Real and money flow. Real flow factors of production flow from the owners' households to produ to producers via the factor market. Goods and services flow from the producers via the goods market to to households and other users of goods and services. Factors of production and goods and services flow from foreign countries to South Africa imports. So that's it. And factors of production of goods and services flow from South Africa to foreign countries exports. So that's it. Remember, what are imports or exports? So in import is actually when as a South Africa we, we actually like I'll just make an example. It's like we're selling goods to Ghana, so we're gonna import them outside the country. You have to get them outside the country, so we are importing them. Export it is when goods are coming inside the country. Uh ah uh, no 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 no. Like I made a mistake. It's not it's not that way. No 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 no. It's actually vice versa, guys. It is actually vice versa, guys. It's this English that confuses me. Uh, import is when uh, the goods are getting inside the country. Export is when goods are going outside the country. So when, for example, you are selling to Ghana. So when you are selling to Ghana, goods have to go outside the country. So, yeah, that are exports because they are they are going outside the country. It's this way. As you can see here, I've already explained. Factors of production and goods and goods and services flow from foreign countries to South Africa. Those are imports. They are getting inside our country. And factors of production and goods and services flow from south africa to foreign countries those are exports so when we talk about real flow just remember the import and export just remember that money flow factor of factor of remuneration represents the expenditure of producers and the income of households which is rent interest and profit on the other hand consumption export expenditure represents the expenditure of the household and the income produces producers and that's it. Victor Rumination represents the expenditure of producers and the income of the households. Linkages and injections. Linkages refers to the outflow of money from the economy. Is the outflow of money. Now we are talking about the, 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 the money now. We are not talking about the goods. Um, refers to the outflow of money. Those are linkages. Um... And um, the following are the linkages and withdrawals from the circular flow. How money is coming out of the of the country of the, of the economy, by the way. How money is coming out of the economy? It's coming out um, by savings, taxation, payments for imports. That's how it comes out. Because when we pay, it's payment for imports. Um, yeah, when we pay out, out uh, the countries outside in rent, obviously the the rents are going outside the economy. Then um, injections refers to the inflow of money into the economy, and how does the inflow of money work? Investment and government expenditure and payments for exports. That's it. That's injection. So yeah, that's how it works. So. The other factors I will explain them on the next video, guys. Um, yeah, I will explain them on the next video. So, guys, uh, make sure that you subscribe and like the video and share the video. And if you want another video about the circular flow, feel free to tell me. Just tell me that you want another video about the circular flow. I'm gonna make another video. I'm gonna make another video about the circular flow, and I'm gonna clearly, clearly change the definitions, all of them. But they will mean the same thing. But I'm explaining it in different ways. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and share the video. Peace.